Oh, sorry. I'm trying to hurry and uh, it restarted on me right quick. <coughs> I went off to shut down my other machine and came back and it was restarting. Good, I didn't lose my drive, so I just barely caught it in time. And I gotta go back in there and do the whole same thing again. See, that's what I was saying about using the DVD. <coughs> it would just automatically have went back to the DVD. I've done this enough times to know that part. Uh, you know, and continued on until it was finished. And then it would stop and say, okay, now you need to take the... Well, it might not stop. It might reboot and then you'll have like... It'll be at the beginning of the install menu again. But it should, if everything works right. Continue on with the install. Just got to make sure I select my right ISO since I have it. Windows Home Premium x86-64. Home Premium. Okay. <coughs> Zero. Now, it's going well unless I make, get mixed up and click the wrong thing or something. I should just continue from here and get my hand off the keyboard and make sure it doesn't do anything else. Make it do anything else. I thought I might get it in time to show it shutting down, but I couldn't get the phone up and going. I had turned off the camera app because I thought it'd be... I was going to go take a shower. I thought it'd be a while. <coughs> usually it is 30 to 45 minutes all that work just to get something set up that's gonna the fun will only be 30 to 45 minutes <coughs> so many days of it I mean it's been a couple of weeks of studying this thing and several days here how many days it probably ended up being a week I don't remember when I first started from when I really first started you know, putting files on this thing, it's been over a week, but, uh, you know, I skipped a few days here and there messing with it. Alright, it's at the beginning. Well, I don't know what to do, but just, uh... Hmm. Oh, driver missing, what in the world? My helper thing is still in there. I wonder if, uh, you know, it happened so fast I didn't get to read it like it might have said take the medium out. You know what? It may already be to that point to where it, you don't want the, I don't know why it's doing this, but uh, I know it's not going to work. So I'm going to get out of it. And I guess what I'll do is, how can I do this? Okay, I'll let it boot up to Sardu. Take out my SD card. I'll take them both out. And then I'll hit Control Alt Delete. So that when it boots, it'll boot back to the hard drive. And I bet it's already copied all the files over to the hard drive that it needs. Okay, get on reboot. I mean, it doesn't matter where I'm at because I'm not going to actually use the reboot. Because when I take them out, <coughs> I'll just show what I'm saying here. I'm taking them both out. Which is not what you would normally do, but I'm trying to work around here. Now, I could hit reboot, but I, it wouldn't do it, I'm sure, because it can't talk to that. Uh, some of them hold stuff in the memory, but I don't think this one does. Well, it did. It held it in the memory. Ah, uh, boot error. Okay, try it again. Maybe it didn't finish. But see, I, I didn't have any uh, trouble. If it does it again, then I'll know those files aren't on the hard drive. I didn't ever get to the point of asking for the license, and that's when I would find out about the, uh, you know, 60, my license working on a 64-bit system. Okay, I see the Windows logo. So I think they were all copied over. That's the darn thing went and repaired my original 
No, setup is updating registry settings. Yeah, it didn't repair my original system. It couldn't because that was a different. Well, maybe it could. It was the same version, but 32 bit. Could have, could have uh, repaired it and upgraded it, but I don't think it did that. Would have said something like that. And I know it didn't click on upgrade. Okay, setup is starting services. Seems like I remember the last time I went to 7 install went really smoothly. It was actually quite a bit quicker than uh, Windows XP. So, uh, <coughs> cannot hold still. Okay, there we go. Um, let me get my elbows on the chair arms and stuff. Hold still and try to read. Okay. Installing updates. It's on installing updates right now. So yeah, it looks like it went really quick. I don't re really remember it ever going that quick. I guess, you know, because uh, SD, you can read from an SD card or USB, you know, stick a lot faster than you can a, a C DVD or CD. So I would say that the writing went well, much quicker because of that. Copying the files over here. So, um, it looks as though it has a lot more to go, but it looked, you know, it, I didn't think it was anywhere near being ready to reboot a minute ago when I quit recording. This went short enough, I could have actually recorded the whole thing. I changed my camera to, uh, I'm still m moving it every time I breathe. I changed my camera to um, to the default setting for open camera, and then I just uh, I left all the resolutions the way they were set because I started realizing I, I did some tests and uh, started realizing that I don't think I'm gaining anything about running 10 megabits per second. I tried 5 megabits and it didn't look any different, so I just set it on default. But thing is. Defaults just say default. I just hit the, there's a setting inside of open camera settings to just say return to defaults. And so the only thing it tells you is the resolution. It's 1080p. Uh, what is it? Uh, 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080. There we go. Finished. Let's see what happens now. Oh, it wasn't finished. It's just doing something else. Oh, okay. It's finished uh, with the updates completing installation now. You see the little dotted line. I guess I could go a little closer. You can see the little dotted lines. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the phone video, but I can see the little animation completing installation. So, um, don't know how long that'll take again. <coughs> So anyway, I finally decided, heck, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna since I'm running out of space on the phone, I'm going to um, try see if this default settings will not use up my re remaining space. I deleted some big, a uh, couple of big videos that weren't any good or didn't weren't any useful. Uh, so I got back down to back up to 20, a uh, 19 gigabyte free space. Now it's at 17 after I made a few videos. So. Still not. They're still not going to be really small videos, but but that's fine because I tested on reading text on my screen, and you know it's a little bit fuzzy, but uh, some way sometimes it even looked a little better than the higher resolution, uh, actually being able to read it, you know. So or not higher resolution, but uh, more megabits. Still, and I'm not sure what the frame rate is either. I I, I was shooting 30 frames per second. I don't know, uh, it's on the default now, so I'm not sure if that's, it's probably not 30 frames per second. But it may not matter as much as I, you know, thought. If you troll protects the hardware, then, you know, you'll get lag anyway, so you won't gain anything by setting it up in higher settings. But, uh, the, the videos looked the best I had seen them by the time I arrived at those settings, and, uh, so that's where I've been leaving it. And I knew I was using up a lot of space pretty fast, but I just didn't want to change them. I didn't want my videos to not be as, as you know, high quality.
bodies I could get. So anyway, um, here we go. I just had a feeling maybe I should wait here and not stop recording. Okay, setup will continue after you restart your computer. Now I think it's just going to restart itself. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything in it anymore on my <coughs> my uh, SD card and my USB stick are over there on the desk. There it goes. So I will expect it to come back up with Windows 7 installed. They probably want me to make a username and all that stuff. comes my boot screen heard a little sound in the speaker so the sounds working now I sure didn't think that would happen that quick that I uh, I think I said that the last time it worked, went well. I think that was, that's the last quickest Windows install, Windows install I've ever seen. Okay, well, maybe I'm speaking too soon. It says it's preparing my computer for first use. But, I mean, it's to this point already, so... I mean, I, I only... Uh, I don't think it was... No, I just went and shut down the machine. It wasn't five minutes. It was like two minutes or something. I could have let sit here and just recorded the whole thing, except for I can't. It's one thing to hold up a little light phone. It's another thing to hold up the phone in, the, in this metal tripod. That gets, on top of me breathing and moving, it gets uh, hard. I should. I guess I should have taken this phone out of here. It's only held in here by rubber bands. I just didn't want to because I liked it being ready to use. Gonna have to get it uh, out of my right hand and get my right hand. My left hand's all tingly and numb from holding the thing, and now my right hand's starting to kind of hurt. I swapped hands. Oh, let's hang on there. It's booting up. Okay, yeah. Windows 7 Home Premium. You know what? It never did ask me for my uh, license key yet. What in the heck? Okay, uh, unless it went and found it on the old hard drive. Unless it erased it. I'll be so mad. Okay, um, I don't think it did. Choose a name for your account. And just make sure that work, and it already gave it a, a name for the computer PC. Well, I'm going to change that. I'm going to stop the video and try setting up the tripod on my keyboard tray, I guess, or something, so I can type. And, uh, um, go, you know, go through it. Okay.